I'm a partner in the litigation group at Blake Castles and Graydon. I practice securities litigation, which encompasses securities class action defense, securities regulatory defense, uh, and transaction related litigation. Uh, I came to be doing that because, and and this is a lot like how uh, you know people are always uh, enamored of the music that's popular when they're in high school. When I was starting out, uh, I was coming into the profession just as the tech bubble was bursting uh, and as Enron and WorldCom were uh, coming along. And I got a real appreciation for how those types of securities matters uh, affect the world from retail investors up to the highest level of corporate governance. So uh, I guess in a way, the practice area chose me, but I became fascinated by it very early on. And uh, as they say, I've been here ever since. What I try to bring to the table is a dispute resolution perspective rather than a litigation perspective. As a litigator, as an advocate, you always want to be holding the proverbial hammer. But if you start approaching things as if the hammer is the only tool in your box, everything starts to look like a nail. And that, in most instances, uh, for my clients, is not a helpful approach, which is why I try to approach things from a dispute resolution perspective rather than uh, a litigation perspective. Uh, you know, litigation is unfortunately a bit of a one-size-fits-all uh, system, and the disputes my clients have aren't one-size-fits-all disputes. So I want to really assist them with resolving those disputes uh, rather than uh, having them come to me and saying, all right, we're going to litigation. I find the practice of law immensely satisfying. I don't think you can get up and go to the office every day if you don't. Uh, and you know, it is, it's thrilling in one way to stand up before a court uh, to make submissions and have uh, you know, the focus be on you and the arguments you're going to make and you know, seeing if you can weave the kind of rope that you can then let go and it'll hold your weight as you swing across the canyon. Uh, but it's also satisfying uh, on days when that's not happening to uh, find a different approach to a resolution of a, of a dispute, to find uh, a, an impasse between parties that you can sort of shake loose and, and, uh, and make something happen there. So one of the uh, sort of unfortunate things about living in uh, the era we are with the technology that we have access to is that people have a real inclination to answer that email as quickly as it comes in, you know, with one hand while you're walking back from Starbucks, uh, when what may be required is a considered answer. Uh, and in that case, understand what your client expects, understand what the timing uh, is that needs to be met, uh, but make sure that you are providing the right advice and not necessarily the quick advice.